we will install MySQL Server Shell as well as Workbench. With that, we will also create a sample database. Let's start. For that, go to the web browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any web browser. On Google, type MySQL and press enter. On pressing enter, you can see the official website is visible. MySQL.com. Click on it. Now the official website is visible. Click downloads. Now go below. Here and click on MySQL Community Downloads. Now under MySQL Community Downloads, you need to click on MySQL Installer for Windows. Here in the current version is visible. This is what we wanted, and we want it for Windows. So here it is. Okay. We will go for the following 32-bit x86. Remember, this works for both 32-bit as well as 64-bit Windows operating system. It is 428 MB. Go for the current version. Here it is, and click download. That's it. Now you just need to click on No thanks. Just start my download here. Now the download should begin. The download started 428 MB. Let's wait for few seconds. The download completed. Here it is, the MSI file. Double click on it to install. Minimize. Now the setup started. Here in we need to choose a setup type. We will directly go to custom to understand what we are actually installing. Click next. So here in we need to select the product. We want it servers, shell as well as workbench. So click on MySQL servers. Click on a drop down again, and here it is, the current version 8.0.33. Click on it to drag, and here it is. Now I'll click on applications. I'll click on workbench because we wanted workbench also. It is a UI to create database and tables with MySQL. Click here and just drag it. Here it is. Just drag it. Now we have server workbench. We want shell. I'll click here. Click on a drop down. Again and here it is the shell also. Click on it. We clicked on it and here it is. We want it server shell and workbench. Now click next. Now ready to download all of them. Click execute. Now we are downloading all three. Let's wait. We have downloaded all three of them. Click next. Now ready to install. Click on execute. Now it will install one by one. The installation is now complete. You can see the status and click next now. Now product configuration. Click next. Here in type and networking, keep it as it is and click on next. Authentication method. Keep the default that is recommended. Use a strong password. Click next. Now we need to set the root password. Root password that means the admin password for our MySQL. We will set it. We have used the following password. You can use our password, no problem. And click next. Now Windows Service, keep it as it is, and click on next. Server file permissions, yes, grant full access, no problem. Click next. Apply configuration, just click on execute, and one by one all the steps will occur, and your MySQL will get installed completely. Click execute. The configuration is successful. Click finish. Now product configuration. Click on next. Installation is complete. It will start MySQL Workbench. After setup and shell also no problem. Click finish. Now Workbench also started. Okay. Now what you can do? You can just click on the following connections to just log into your MySQL Workbench. 
enter the same password which we added for root click uh, save password in vault and click ok now we will log into our mysql workbench you can use this ui to create database and tables we have